Good morning. Today is all about a travel day as we leave the Fairy Meadows Valley and kind of bittersweet. It's so beautiful here. We're excited though to bring you more Pakistan footage as we work our way further north. So we'll touch base. Kelly, you want to show us the map? Sure. All so right. we are staying right here. This is Fairy Meadows area by Raikut Glacier. And then today what we're going to do is we're going to go up, continue up the highway all the way up to Gilkit. That's kind of like our lunch spot, right? Yeah, having lunch at Gilkit. Lunch spot at Gilkit, and then we'll jump back on and we will be sleeping somewhere around Gulmit, so right in this area. Yeah, so it should be a great day. Whoa, these lights are going crazy, but it should be a great <laughs> day as we, uh, again, highlight all the different viewpoints and yeah. lunch and all the cool mm -hmm. things between point A and point B. Just that fast. That was like two hours and a little yeah. change to get down. Yeah. Not even. Much smoother going yeah. down. Well, you had a couple of little. Uh, I did some slips. And little slides, slips. Which is a little scarier with the baby. With the baby on your back. But, you know, ultimately we made it down. Yeah. So right now we are, uh, Riaz is handling all the negotiations for price on a Jeep. We're gonna double check all of our baggage. We have to pay for the horse, which was 4,000 total. That was 2,000 each way. And then the donkey, the donkey. was 41 kilos going up. Uh, I'm interested to see <laughs> where the cheap. kilos will be going down. If it's uh, still 41, slightly less, slightly more, it'd be interesting to see. Yeah. But either way, we'll get this all settled. All these guys are just talking and uh, getting it done for us. Yes. What do you think, Forrest? Good. Good hike? Yeah. All righty. Well, we'll uh, we'll let you know the prices here in just a minute. Bye. So the horse. Horse four thousand. Yeah. One hundred. One hundred there, including tax. Tip. Yeah. Okay. Tax. 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 Yeah. What's that? They can manage. You know, one person he can charge one hundred rupees each trip per horse. Okay. So the total price on the horse is. 4,100 rupees. Okay, so there's an extra 100 rupees for yeah, some reason yeah. tacked on. Yeah. Okay, whatever, yeah. pennies. So 4,100. How much for the donkey? And 3,280. Okay, and how many kilos was it? Okay. It's the same. I same, think. same. Yeah. Okay, so 41, so the same price going each way. All right, well, we will settle up then, pay the men, and we'll be on our way uh, with the Jeep. All right, everybody, pay it up. We're getting back into the Jeep. A new Jeep, new driver. How are you guys doing? Good. Better situation, huh? Yeah. Cool, with the handles? No. Okay, all right, we'll head in here in just a second. In business. All right, and just like that, we are back to the car. Ooh, Pakistan's mean? deadliest road. At least the scariest. Scariest. Survived it twice. Sweet, sweet pavement. Well, dusty pavement anyway. Ooh. So that's the Jeep. Pakistani Adventure Pathfinder. That's great. How was that, my friend? Better? Um, better experience, but kind of more terrifying since like so many cars came by. Yeah. yeah traffic jam some, on the one, one road sheer drop off cliff. That was something. Where's Cedar? Yeah. Cedar, how was that for you? Hot. Very hot. And sweaty. Yes, no doubt. It was hot and sweaty. Okay, so now the plan. I'm gonna set this here. Unload the Jeep. Get back in the air conditioned SUV. Thank goodness. Lunch is in Gilgit, but it's already 1240. Gilgit, I don't know how far away it is, but I don't think it's like really, really close. So we will uh, 
probably stop somewhere in between here and there and grab like fruit, snacks, just that kind of stuff. I'll show you what that looks like here in just a few minutes. Okay, so about 30 minutes from the time we got in the Jeep, we came across this fruit stand here. Uh, what do you recommend we get? So I obviously I see beautiful yeah, cherries and this is cherry season. Yeah, you see it. Yeah, and it's Gil gets kind of famous yeah. for the cherries. Okay, and they have the apricots here. All right, so, and then maybe a few bananas, although they're looking a little bit dated, but I think Forrest will still eat them. All right, so we'll do a half a kg of the cherries. And with the apricots, can we buy that half a kg, do you think? Okay. You can see the flies are uh, definitely attracted to the cherries. <laughs> Okay, so half a kg of the cherries, he's weighing them out over here. Half a kg of the apricots. And the, apric the apricots are another kind of specialty fruit grown here in Gilgit. Yeah. In this season here. All right, so my first Gilgit apricot. Oh, very crunchy. Uh, it is sweet, but not overpoweringly sweet. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm. Yeah, that's a nice texture. Yeah, very good. Pit. Mm. Yeah, that's a winner. All right, so he's uh, filled the bags up with water. He's kind of rinsing them off for us. Yeah, okay. He did love. But. And the question is, do I need to worry about the uh, water that was used to rinse the fruit? Uh, we'll live on the edge a little bit. How much? 330. 330 for both bags. All right, so 330 rupiah for our half a kg of apricots, half kg of cherries. They're draining them out there. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. All righty. All right. Okay, now they're adding some ice to the bag to keep it cool. And he said, Gabby, come. Come on, Gabby. Excellent. So ice right from the truck to keep all the fruit nice and cool. That's good. Thank you. She's going. Okay, guys. We got cherries and apricots with fresh snow to keep them nice and cool. Hey. That might feel good. Uh, so does that feel good? Nice. All right, so that was a great process. Again, to get the fruit, to watch the guy clean it, uh, weigh them, to get the snow, the snow that's brought down from the mountain. Yeah. Wow, so they drive the trucks up, get the snow. And bring all the back. Yeah, so you want apricot or cherry first, Forrest? Cherry? Okay, now remember there's a little seed in there. So you gotta spit the seed Where out. Where do you put the seed? Uh, let's put the seed kind of in the side bag, yeah. Okay, Kelly, cherry? Yeah, cherry. The cherry taste test. Everybody ready? Yeah. I already ate that. Mm. So good. Wow. Mm. It's very sweet. There you go. Mm. Yeah. With the pit, did you? Yeah, 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 you, you can eat around the seed. Did you guys like that cherry? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's a, it's a very small cherry, but very full of flavor, very sweet. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's great. I think the snow really helps. helps. <laughs> it keeps them nice and cool. Okay, so eating in the car while we drive on the bumpy road, <laughs> good times. All right, lunch is served. Again, a combination of chicken biryani, the, the dal, the lentil dish, and a big bunch of chapati. How's the food, Cedar? Yeah, would you eat this one again, the chicken? Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice. Granite, how's the chapati? It's the best one I've had so far. Really? The bread? Nice. Best chapati so far. Kel, how are the lentils here? They're good. Yeah, nice? Yep. Yeah. Are they like spicy or no? No, nope, not too spicy. Cool. Good flavor. And Forrest, how's that mango juice coming? Good, thumbs up. All right, I'll dig into the biryani. The yogurt sauce is a nice addition. It's great, very good. Not spicy whatsoever. I would say not spicy, right guys? No, not spicy. So anyway, just a good little stop. Uh, we'll fill our tummies. 
there is an ice cream store across the street. So if uh, you know we do well here, we'll go get a little ice cream. Oh, geez, you heard me. Ice cream, eh? So eat your food and we'll have uh, maybe some ice cream. So just across the street from the family hall is, of course, Scoop and Smiles. Are you guys ready for some Scoop and Smiles? Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the menu. We'll do Scoop and Smiles special waffle cone three. All right, cool. That's gonna be nice. All right, first cone goes right here. Oh, good Lord. Okay, Forrest, come stand up. You come eat this over here. It's already a melty mess. Here you go, buddy. Lick, lick, lick. Is that yummy? So guys, okay, okay. So don't don't eat it sitting down, whatever you guys do, or it'll all be over your lap. Like, yummy? All right, how are those ice creams? Delicious? So good. So good. <laughs> it is awesome eating ice cream in this heat. It is just a melty mess. Nice job, Cedar. She's got the splits stance going on. Well done. Forrest working it. Yummy? Mm. Cool. I'm going to help him a little bit. The race against time. Mm hmm. Mm. I think the ice cream's going to hit the spot, yeah? Pretty good. I think so. Yummy. All right, so along the way on our drive, we stopped at a very special place. And this gentleman is making the local pizza, yes, yes, but the, yes. your, you call it chop churro. Chop churro, yes. which is basically a chapati type crust. This man's gonna make it here. So he rolls out his thin dough. So as he rolls out the dough, he stretches it. He's adding a little bit of what I would see as maybe flour or possibly cornmeal. Rolling it thin. Oh, and he's cooking some right here. These ones are already done, but it's so nice of the guy to uh, make one fresh for us. So in comes his minced meat. Meat, yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, is it uh, mutton? Yes, yes. Mutton, yes, yes. okay, yeah, mutton meat. Mutton. Rolls it, a little case of, yeah, yeah, he's gonna cook it right now. And he's got that little pinch button. Excellent. Right on to the griddle. Wow. How long do you cook it? How long does it cook? Five minutes? Yes, yes. About five minutes or so? Yeah, yeah. And you have inside your stove? Yes. Ah, uh, wood. So there's this fire burning and these are almost done. So you can see a little bit of a bazaar. Uh, what part of town are we at here? What what what, what town is this? Yagolo. Yagolo. Yagolo Puro. Okay, so it's sort of in between. I see, I see. What forest? You want a pizza? Okay, okay. Well, he's cooking it right now. You want to try? Okay, you had the man cooking it. Yeah, it'll be yummy. Awesome. So while this cooks, we can look around, check out the little bazaar here. So you got the vegetables here, like a little bit of a washing station. Hello. What do we see over here? Oh my goodness, Forrest, what do I see? What is this? Popcorn. Do you want a popcorn? Yeah, Forrest wants popcorn. So we have popcorn from the man here, all types of vegetables. What is, uh, yeah, so uh, we know this is popcorn. But what's Scorn. what's the pink Scorn. what's the pink bag? This pink. Why is it pink? This one is sweet. Oh, it's a sweet, like yeah. a kettle. I bet yeah. that's like a kettle corn. All right, I'll probably buy one bag of regular popcorn and one bag of the pink popcorn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll buy. Hey, han bar duman han I can buy these. It's fine. Oh. You want a toy? No toys yet. So we'll buy the popcorn from the man. How much is the popcorn? 100. 100 for the boat, the two bags, 100 total. So 50 rupee each for us. You want to hold the popcorn? Uh, sure, sure. All right, he's got it. So 100 rupee for the two bags of popcorn. Thank you, sir. Thank yes. you. You see the melon, huh? Forrest, you come with daddy? Okay, I'll hold. Okay, should we go check on our pizza? Yeah. Okay, okay. So we got the popcorn. Hello. Oh, these we know. These are little sweets. So this is the sugary little dough. That's pretty yummy. 
Alright. Fifty rupees. Fifty rupees for the little pizza. Boy, there you go. So it was a hundred rupees for the two popcorns. Hold on, buddy, I gotta pay for the pizza. Hold on. Fifty rupees for the uh for the pizza. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you for the pizzas. Uh -huh. Okay, so we'll go back, each take some bites of this pizza, see how it tastes. There's the minced meat. While we wait for our pizza to cool down, we're gonna dig Yay. into the popcorn. Of course, you wanna be the first one to try it? No. Uh, pink popcorn, here we go. Maybe a little sweet, but definitely, uh, yeah, definitely pink in color. You want a little one? You like it? No. No? Okay. I want a boy. Yeah, okay. Well. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna go for this. Oh, another tunnel. Another tunnel. I'm gonna go for this minced meat, what they call local pizza. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. That's very good. It has a mutton uh, mutton meat to it and it really tastes like sausage actually. Like a sausage cheese or curry? Like a sausage curry. Very good. A nice hefty portion of the meat. See, do you want a bite of the pizza? No. No, just for me? Forrest, you want no. a bite of the pizza? No. Well, just for me. Granite sleeper back See, there. This one? I'll save him some of it, but it, this is, uh, this is yeah. really good. Mm. Yeah, the minced meat pizza. That's delicious with the mutton. All right, Granite has waking up it is time for his popcorn sampling with the pizza all right granite pink popcorn let me know what you think i like it you like it cool yeah. all right so you know it's actually the flavor is growing on me yeah and it is uh, as we mentioned it is definitely a different grain kind of grain like that's it's almost like a definitely not like a standard pop to put popcorn but yeah the flavor is growing on me you like it yep nice we have salted popcorn as well. But granted, this one I saved for you. This is that mutton pizza. It's pretty good. You want to give it a go or you want to wait a minute? Yeah. I like it. It's good, yeah? It tastes like sausage. Yeah. So it's it's mutton meats, which is nice. So it's nice to kind of break away from the chicken. But the pizza, good. And they make these all over Hunza Valley, so we'll definitely re revisit that dish uh, as we're up in the Hunza Valley. Pink popcorn, white popcorn. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Good way to go. You like it, Kelly? I do. Yeah, it's a nice snack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not too sweet. Not too sweet. No, just a little hint. I would love to know what kind of grain that is. So maybe if you're a, one of our Pakistani subscribers, you can help us out. Like what's, what, it's not corn as, as I know it, but what is this made from? Yeah, definitely growing on me. I don't know if I'd seek it out, but uh, it's it's not it's uh it's, it's growing on me. All right, so another road snack that you must try when you're doing your Hunza Valley drive are fresh apricots from the tree. So this guy here is just picking them right off the tree. So these are the apricots, yeah? Yeah. Oh wow. Let's just see. Right off the tree, a little teeny apricot. And that is delicious. Very juicy uh, compared to the ones we, that we had in the market. This one's uh, much sweeter. Wow. And that is a more traditional apricot flavor. And again, these are just growing by the hundreds right off the side of the road here in the Hunza Valley area. Mm. Let's get rid of that pit. Absolutely delicious. So just from the trees right over here, you can see on the rooftops that they're actually drying apricots as well. So again, this region very famous for apricots and they've shelled them and you can see they're drying all these apricots with the sun. Maybe I'll taste one here. Oh, they're not quite dry, but they're definitely, they're definitely more sticky. Oh, wow. So that drying process really brings out the sweetness in the apricot. And we've got them drying here. 
I guess these are the pits that are drying. I don't know what they'll use those for. But here are some sort of berries or something. And you can see more apricots drying on the rooftop there. This entire region just filled with delicious apricots. So from the tree, you can see they're sort of light and colored. But these that have been drying, they're much more orange in color. Yeah, very different, uh, very different color. And the texture of these ones that have been drying, and I don't know how long they've been drying, but they're definitely more chewy. So we'll go see if uh, Kelly kids like these uh, better than the ones that we bought at the marketplace. So just as we were eating apricots, I was eating them from the dried roof here, and we were eating them from the tree here. This gentleman has come up and has brought a whole bag of apricots. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Thank you. Fantastic. Yeah, very good. So these apricots, would you say that's at least a kilo? Yes, it's more than kilo. More than a kilo, wow. Kilo. All from his garden. Yeah, Shukran, thank you so much. Hey Cal, check this out. <laughs> so the guy saw us eating them off this tree and gave us this bag totally for free from his garden. Oh, should I grab so, it? Yeah, yeah, sure. So he ran like a quarter mile the way down the road, brought us that whole bag from his garden. Yeah, bud. You want to come out? Here, Granite wants to try one. It smells so good. Yeah, these are just right from his garden. Here you go, Granite, give that one a try. Very good. Forge, you want to come out? Okay, come, come. Hey, wait, hold on. I'll go this way. Yeah, yeah. Forge, you want an apricot? Oh, they're even sweeter than the ones we tried earlier. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought too. Mm -hmm. Very sweet. Mm -hmm. I want two. Quite delicious. Here, can I, can I have one more? Mm-hmm. Want two more? <laughs> I can't reach it because of the baby. Oh. So again, a great opportunity for a snack just off the side of the road. Granny, you want one more? Mm. These are good, yeah? Mm. Do you think they're sweeter than the fruit stand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can taste a noticeable difference. Oh, this one in particular. Very sweet, yeah? Mm -hmm. Forrest, you want to try a bite? Mm. You sure? It's yummy. The seed? Yeah, don't worry about the seed. You eat. Want a little bite? Want me to take the seed out? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Here. Too hard. No, not too hard. Here. Okay. I'll do it for you, buddy. Okay. okay, here. Let's try. So, Forrest, hopefully we can get him into his first apricot bite. Uh, like a little baby bird. Here you go, bud. Try that one. No. You don't want to try it? Yeah. Oh, well. More for me. Hmm. Yeah. I need my shoes. You need your shoes? It's dirty. My sneakers. So, these apricots, again, are uh, very good. Absolutely, when you're in this area, worth stopping for really anybody. But you know, I don't couldn't tell you exactly where we are, but this particular stretch, absolutely delicious. So just down the road from the apricot farm, where that guy gave us that at least two kilos of apricots. Look at this massive flood happening on the road. Now you might not be able to see it so well on the GoPro, but there's all these cars stopped. And this massive water flood has washed out the road completely. Hello. And all these people are here trying to help push the cars through. So that is super sketchy. Inshallah. Now we get through this. You got a bunch of guys in the waterway helping. There's some police officers here. Better put the camera down for that. Okay, so as we wait for our turn to attempt to cross this river, now there's a car going. Like a standard, like a standard, like a Honda Civic is trying to make its way across. That's pretty intense. It looks like they're switching drivers now. Uh, so it looks they get the car door open on the driver's side. The guy's kind of halfway in the water, halfway out of the water. The driver's gotten out of the car now. They're discussing basically the best way to approach this. I have no idea how they're going to do it in a Honda Civic. So he's got the reverse lights on. It looks like he's backing. Looks like he's backing out of it. But the problem is, if he's back backing out how uh where's he gonna go there's nowhere to go there's somewhat of a queue 
cars behind spread out around. And these poor guys working here, they're just trying to throw rocks into the raging river. And you can see it's an angry looking, angry looking water flow here. So the Honda's, it's not in reverse anymore, but he's definitely got his brake lights on. Okay, so the Honda now is fully submerged in the water. It's fully in the river. And it is looking severely stuck. Severely stuck, this Honda. You've got a, two dozen guys trying to like lift the front end of the car or push it back or rock it or something. But it is very unlikely that that Honda is going to get out very easily. Numerous guys trying to coordinate. At least, at least two dozen. Oh, here it goes! Come on, Honda! Come on, guys! You can do it! We got it! Come on! Oh, it's slipping! The back end has got to get that back end out. All right, the Honda's clear. Wow! But if you look now, if you look right where the Honda's at now, it's like a secondary, a secondary flood is starting to happen now down these rocks. Wow, so the Honda made it. Okay. We are now two vehicles away from our attempted crossing of this river that you would never attempt to cross. No, no car should be driving through this. Now, why there's a queue over here, I don't know. It's a van. Now, this van is even... I suppose the van has a higher wheelbase than the Honda, so that's good. So if a Civic can do it, hopefully this car can too. Oh man, so the van just powered through. That's how you do it. Okay, it's our turn. This, this is it. We got a motorcycle going now. Okay, hold on. Okay, everybody, this is it. We're entering the water. Hello, sir. Okay, they're sending us wide. We're heading right through it. Hey, Jack, this you is it. it. All men are true. Uh, Entering the water. We're in the water. Fully submerged. In the water. We got it. Come on. Oh, man, we're getting close to the edge. Get close. Okay. Okay, we got through. Now, secondary. Secondary water. You got it? Hey guys, nice job. Whew. Okay, so now we made it through the water. You can see the queue of cars is coming down the line. Wow, scariest moment in Pakistan. All right, so we are basically through. Now we're queued up. We've got it, now, now everyone's backed up here trying to, uh, trying to get through. Wow, what an intense journey. So we'll let the camera rest for a little bit as we make our way. We're still sort of in, but you can see all these cars coming down, mostly SUVs now, but wow, that's uh, pretty impressive. It is just past nine o'clock. Now we're almost to the homestay, but because it is so late, we sort of missed the dinner opportunities at the homestay. And that's mostly due to just the uh, very poor road conditions we experienced driving all the way up here today. Uh, you saw earlier, I mean, that was just uh, one of the craziest road trips I've ever had uh, experienced in my life. But either way, because we uh, missed dinner options at the homestay, we had to stop just before. And we are here at, I'm gonna call that Sikander Briani restaurant. And um, the guy, it's, it's kind of, you know, it's, off, it's after nine, so there's not a whole lot of menu options. But he did say he has biryani, he's got lentils, I believe he's got some chapati. So for right now, um, it already smells good just from standing outside. So the guy's definitely getting getting cooking there. Oh yeah, the, the spices smell good. And let's see what he's made here. So uh, the gentleman, he's I can see he's got his flames going probably certain some sort of rice over there biryani he's got a uh, little pickled uh, vegetable onion salad there and you can see just all his burners there kind of going in the back corner uh, the smells are quite delicious quite delicious he's got three bowls uh, laid out and I bet that will be our cuisine uh, when he starts to serve so I'm pretty excited to see what it's gonna look like and again it smells very very good in here 
Dinner has officially been served and it looks outstanding. I'm most excited about the choli and the chicken korma. So the choli again is a vegetarian dish. Kelly, are you liking the, the, the veg? Double thumbs up. Double thumbs up. Yeah, for nice. the choli. Keep, keep and for the mixed vegetables. Yeah, the mixed veg looks good. That looks like a nice so gravy good. on there. Yep. Is it spicy? Mm-hmm. Oh, good. My lip is burning. Oh, good. And it from, from the dry crack lip. <laughs> yeah. Nice. All right. Well, here we go with the veg chol. Mm, yeah, very nice. A bit spicy. The chickpeas uh, star that dish for sure. The chicken korma with some of the biryani. Also going to be a pretty good dish, I can tell. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay, the chicken uh, dish, that gravy, quite spicy, very delicious. Granite, are you enjoying it? Yeah. Yeah. Did you get some of the uh, the the red chicken dish? Good. Yeah, a little spicy. Yeah, in a good way. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, ultimately. What a spread of food. I'm really glad we stopped uh, after that long drive. It's past nine o'clock now and we will eat. We will continue to work our way to the homestay, which is just around the corner. We'll show you the homestay, uh, give you a little tour of that property, and then uh, we'll call it a video. But either way, dinner, nine, just let's see, almost 9.30, quite delicious. All right, everybody, it is so late and everyone is so exhausted. Granite and Cedar basically like crashed in their room. They have like a cute room like ours, but they have two twin beds. We've got this uh, like double or queen size bed, um, but what a day. What an intense day. I mean, we went through <laughs> so many emotions today well, and did so many different things. Every like, one of those components of today was enough to make like a, a full video. The, the, the three hour hike out, the Jeep ride, the just kind of the cool little markets that we hit along the road. Yeah, driving across the river. That was, nuts the the <laughs> pakistani roads are are no joke yeah <laughs> they, the, if you want an road, adventure yeah. that just drive along just yeah go for <laughs> just a, just go for a ride on a pakistani road and that will be an adventure in itself yeah um yeah dinner was good i like mm -hmm. i like that biryani yeah i thought, oh, I, was, I, thought I was like every time i'm sort of like oh do i want biryani again and then i eat it i'm like oh that was so good i kind of feel like with probably the biryani but definitely with the dal mosh yeah yeah it has a different flavor every well, that's, every place we're at. Yeah, so. I, I think that might be a thing where every restaurant yeah. or, or something is like, they have their own little twist on it. Um, but anyway, so it was a pretty epic day. Great day. We now we're at this homestay. Yeah, this homestay, I mean, you it's can't really beautiful. see much here, but it's like, it's pretty. It's it's yeah, a nice bathroom. We'll do a proper kind of homestay thing. Um, a tour yeah. later. Yeah, yeah, later. But right now but it's bedtime. Pizza. Yeah, it's of course. bedtime now. I want to eat pizza. Oh, you want pizza? I'm pretty pizza. Okay, well, maybe Forrest wants pizza. Yeah. Okay, everyone. With that, I think we'll, uh, we have, we got to go to bed. So. We must sleep. Good night, everyone. <laughs> see we'll you. see you in see the morning. See you in the morning.